Hey, it's me, Dash Island here. It's Monday, October 29th, and if you haven't so, sort of been able to tell already, of course, this is going to be the good, the bad, and the ugly for WWE Evolution 2018, the first all-women's pay-per-view in the WWE. It was a relatively okay show, but it definitely had its problems. I will say that. Um, the first match was Trish Stratus and Lita versus Mickey James and Alicia Fox. Nothing really special, but yeah, it's good. It's 1G there because good bit of nostalgia and whatnot. It was a meh match. It was decent. Next, we had the Women's Battle Royale, which you had blasts from the past and whatnot. You had some hints at some storylines there. It was good. The only bad thing was that they didn't feature more. Because after all, Stephanie McMahon promised around 50 or so superstars and got like 41. Although it's like 9 off at the close, but I just think they could have done a lot more, especially with this pay-per-view. There could have been more matches, but you know what? Overall good show, so. And next match... I can't even remember the match. I should have wrote this down. <laughs> yeah. Um. Apparently there. Nope. There wasn't a match, but. Uh, apparently Ray Ripley defeated Dakota Kai for the NXT UK Women's Championship, but that didn't garner enough attention. So, that's probably not going to be seen again until the uh, NXT UK champion, the NXT UK videos catch up after t full tapings. Yeah, but, but the historic women's battle right now, Nia Jax won. It's good. I mean, I was rooting for Ember Moon, but, you know, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, for uh, the finals of the uh, May Young Classic, Tony Storm defeated Io Shirai, which that was that was a great match. I loved it. Those they put on a hell of a match. Loved it. Can't wait to see them on the main roster in the future. Uh, we had Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Natalya defeating the Riot Squad, which is probably my least favorite match of the entire night. Because Sasha Banks and Ty and Bailey are going nowhere. And overall ugly that they're basically going nowhere with this. The bad thing was that Riot Squad didn't win. Because I was kind of hoping for 50-50 booking there. <laughs> and then there was the NXT Women's Championship. Which Shayna Baszler defeated Kari Sane. Which was a great match of course. Because these two... Those two have some insane chemistry. It was great. Plus, there was more hinting towards the Four Horsewomen versus Four Horsewomen match, which I am excited for. Because uh, two of the uh, UFC Horsewomen got involved. Overall, great match. Definitely. Because Kari Sane is talented as hell. And Shayna Baszler, she, she is someone you don't want to mess with. We had the last woman standing match for the WWE SmackDown Women's title, which was uh, the champion Becky Lynch versus Charlotte, which I thought it should have been the main event because that was one hell of a match. I mean, there's this here, Broad Culture. We were complaining about the ref's timing with counting because... During most of the match, even when Charlotte wasn't always standing up, he just stopped counting. But the moment while she's still trying to get up, he just suddenly counts her out. We're like, what? What? Yeah. Overall, great match. I don't have anything bad or ugly to say about it. Just pretty much match of the night. Then we had the main event, which was the Robin's title match, which was Ronda Rousey. Versus Nikki Bella. Another great match, but I don't think it compares to Charlotte versus Becky Lynch. Uh, Ron Rousey definitely did good and whatnot there. The only bad thing, bad slash ugly thing I'd say was the, was the Bellas. 
yeah, one of my friends is going to kill me for bad mouthing the Bellas, but... But, you know, the match makes sense for this pay-per-view because it's evolution because the Bellas were involved with the women's revolution and Ronda Rousey is the next step in the evolution. Overall, some good stuff. I think they're... Overall, it was a good show. Not much bad. It's pretty decent. Probably one of the better pay-per-views of the year, but the only bad slash ugly thing I have to say is that they could have had a lot more matches because there's so much potential, but it could have been more. Wow. But anyways, that's the short and sweet GBU for WWE Evolution 2018. If you, if you like the video, like it, obviously. Subscribe to our channel for more content. Your decision.